what is up it is one o'clock in the morning i think today's friday the 13th Ooh, spooky i'm super excited uh, i've been looking forward to this trip all year i look forward to my eastern montana muley hunt all year every year it's different this year because this is the first year that i'm taking kayla over with me we're just gonna get finished packed up and uh, get out of here You say hi, Tucker. Hi. I'm super excited, Tucker. I think I think we're gonna find some deer today. It's gonna be nice today. All right. I'll say bye. Bye. Right on the border. Are you recording me? Well, these guys, yeah, these deer, these two bucks, we got two bucks. Um, Kayla and I stopped and looked at this, looked at the spot earlier today. It's a good spot. There's a ton of does in here. It's the time of year that bucks are going to start pushing does. So, you know, do the math. There's going to be bucks in there, right? Well, we didn't see any bucks. So we left, came back. Sure enough, there's two bucks that fed out of the bottom area, which is public which we could have shot um and now uh they're they're up and they're uh they're close they're right on the edge one of them is what i like to call a double a double effer which is uh he's a freezer filler he's just a he's just a chunky big bodied deer i mean he's he makes those does look tiny He's standing next to, and there's two bucks that I can see. One of them's, uh, like I said, is good, pretty decent buck. So, um, what do you think, babe? Your call. My call. It's your, your tag. Call. If you want, we can get in there. I want these does to leave. Man, he's close. He's like great. He's probably 50 yards off the edge of public and private. You have to wake up Tucker. No. Well, the other thing is the wind is blowing right at him. <laughs> mm -hmm. So I don't know. I don't know how that's going to work. We could probably drop down on that coolie and get pretty close to them. Just a big old forky. Lots of forkies. Just forkies everywhere. Forky here, forky there. <laughs> Whoever gave these deer onyx so that they could tell when they're on private and public, I want to kick you in the shins. <laughs> that buck is a hundred yards on private. And he knows. And he knows. And then there's a doe further back behind these two that's like 20 yards on private. And she's a big fat doe. A freezer filler, as we like to call them in the cook family. <sighs> so far Tuck? Good. Have we seen deer? How many deer have we seen? One hundred? Pretty close. I think we've seen pretty close to a hundred. Oh wow. Have you uh, have you seen any bucks? Tell me about them. How big were they? Yeah, you want to shoot that? <laughs> yeah, we do too. Yeah. 
too. We've been seeing a lot of bucks on private, haven't we? But. Deer. Yeah. Trying to shoot mama's deer? Yep. <laughs> Biggest one. Okay. <laughs> yeah. yeah. We passed on a couple of smaller ones this morning on yeah. some public land, but we figured that they're still there because everybody else has been passing on them too. So um, we're going to uh, exhaust some options, maybe try to get a hold of some landowners and see if we can gain some access. We spotted a lot of deer going into a uh, chunk of private that's kind of tucked away. It looks like some awesome country back in there. We glassed up two really, really nice bucks. So we're gonna get back to town and get some service and see if we can get a hold of some landowners and see if we can get some access. But otherwise, the first morning of our 2020 mule deer hunt has been kind of uneventful. We had a, a big old fat doe at like 260 yards and, <laughs> and Kayla waited until after the fact to tell me, oh, I would have shot a big fat doe. <laughs> I needed to. Yeah, yeah, it's the first day, you're right. We'll wait. There'll be plenty of opportunities. It's only the first day and we've already could have shot half a dozen deer so yep we'll check in later all right guys so we just spotted a buck and uh he's bedded he's bedded down in a good spot so we just got all ready and uh we're gonna we're gonna hopefully go get this buck finally get a deer in the back of the truck so let's go all After leaving the truck, we worked our way up the drainage closer to the bedded buck. With the wind in our face, we crested a bench just above where we assumed the buck was bedded. Just as soon as we did, another buck that was with the one we were after spotted us and stood up. We rushed to get set up, but the two bucks nervously moved up the drainage. I was finally able to get them stopped on this hill face at roughly 350 yards out. Since there were, in fact, two bucks, Kayla decided that she would take a shot at the second buck. As she got set up, both bucks walked down below the tree line. At the time, I wasn't completely confident that I had made a good shot on the bigger buck. Later, we would find out that, in fact, I had made a less than ideal shot on that buck. Kayla now, with two bucks in her scope, decides to line up the shot on the bigger of the two. The rest is history. And the crosshairs were right on, and then just like. <laughs> Come here, what do you think? Okay. What do you think? Was that cool? I think mommy and daddy just killed some bucks. <laughs> <laughs> I know, but mom, I'll shoot your buck. <laughs> <laughs>